Hey, hey, welcome back to the Nansera Wellness YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a yoga flow for your premenstrual period or pre-moon cycle so that when you get onto your cycle or your period, you don't have really intense cramps or even no cramps at all. I don't know if you had, but if you keep physically active before your period, then the cramps are not as intense. I've tried it out of my own myself. I've also asked other girlies and we all agree. So it's worth giving a try. Otherwise, before we get started, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. And what more would you like to see in the comment section? Also, how is my teaching? Is there something I should work on? Let me know and let's get started. We're going to start in a child's pose. Bring the big toes to touch, open your knees as wide as your mat. Let the hips sink back, back and if it's not accessible for you, you can stay here or maybe put a towel between your knees. Otherwise, coming all the way down, forehead into the mat and breathe. I apologize about the noise. I'm honestly shocked that someone is cutting the grass. So I apologize. Breathe. And now from here, you're going to lift up, going all the way forward, release everything into the mat, maybe untuck the toes, lift the chest into Bhujangasana, cobra pose, hips up and back, finding a child's pose. This time I think it's best to leave the, the knees close together so it's an easier transition. Inhale, coming forward, release, cobra pose, exhale, hips up, and back, child's pose. Breathe in, going forward into a cobra pose. Lift the chest, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe out, hips up and back, child's. Inhale, goes into cobra. And from here, hips up and back into a tabletop. And now you're going to lift your palms off the mat for three, two, and one, and then flip the palms, fingers facing the knees, lean forward and you can stay there or maybe try to lengthen the elbows only if it's accessible for you and maybe pull back. That's where I am. So please respect and listen to your body's limitations. Flipping the palms back, returning to a tabletop, palms are shoulder distance apart, knees are hip distance apart and let's do some tiger kicks. Right leg kicks back, open the chest looking up for cow, exhale, Knee to elbow, kick back, knee to elbow, back, knee to elbow and release. Left leg, kicks back, knee to elbow, kick, knee to elbow, kick back, knee to elbow and release. Tuck your toes, engage your core muscles, elevating your shoulder blades, protracting, lift the knees off the mat into your floating tabletop. Knees are slightly up off the mat. Breathe. You got this. And then hips up and back for downward facing dog. Maybe swaying your hips from side to side. Pass down dog of the day. Andante, andante. From here, lift your heels. Lengthen into the top of your feet. Maybe adjust if needed. And then grounding your heels all the way down. Option to keep the knees micro bent or lengthened. Peeling all 10 toes off the mat. Inhale, right leg goes up, keeping the hips square. And on the exhale, step the right foot between your palms. Open into Virabhadrasana two. Two breaths here. Keep sinking into the right knee. Adjust accordingly. Back toes are slightly facing forward on a diagonal, opening the knee out to the right. And then go all the way forward into a half moon pose. Maybe you place the palm on the block or all the way down. Option to micro bend the standing leg or lengthen. And reach as high as you can with the left leg. Maybe shifting your gaze looking up. And then exhale, adjust into warrior three. Taking your time, use your breath. Hips are square. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. And on the exhale, step the foot back. Arms overhead into warrior one. Hips are square. Breathe here. High prayer. Maybe take the hands all the way back behind the ears. Listening to how far you can go. And try to challenge yourself by going further as long as it's not painful. 
and then swing the arms to from the front foot, adjust the back foot, step it further back, coming into a lizard pose, heel to the right foot to the edge of the mat, palms are into the mat, and just bounce here, up and down, sucking the left knee up in, and then step back with the right foot, into your first plank pose of the day. Shoulders are right above the wrist, elevating in the shoulder blades. Palms are pushing into the mat, all five knuckles. Adjust your feet and then lean forward, bend elbows back, chaturanga. Maybe drop the knees into the mat. Lift up into bujangasana or maybe upward facing dog. Soles of the feet drawing towards each other and then hips up and back for downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg up. Three-legged dog, hips are square. Exhale, step the left foot between your palms. And again, open into warrior to second side. Keep opening the knee out to the left. Arms are shoulder level in a T-shape. Breathe. And from here, you're going to go forward and open into a half moon pose. Option to micro bend the left knee, sending that right leg up and away from you. Maybe pointing the toes. And then from here, slowly with control, using your breath and focus, come into Vira Badrasana 3. Deep breaths. You got this. And then bend into that knee, step back, Vira Badrasana 1. Tailbone is tucked in. Adjust your feet as necessary. The front knee shouldn't be over the ankle. It should be at a 90 degree or slightly behind it. And then from here, we're going to plant our palms, adjust the back foot way back, heel to the left foot out to the left into a lizard pose. Once again, bobbing into those hips. Beautiful job, Yogi. And from here, step back for our second plank, elevating those arms, tailbone is tucked in, Core muscles are working, top of the thighs, the quads are engaged. And then from here, go for your transition of chaturanga, upward facing dog. And from here, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Amazing! And now from our downward facing dog, we're going to step, jump, or walk the feet through, come to a seat. And immediately come to lying on your belly, on your back. Graze your heels with your fingertips. And from here, lift the, peel the back of the mat into Setu Bandasana. Maybe interlace your fingers under, or maybe reach for your heels. And breathe. Engaging your glutes to keep you lifted. Coming on to your shoulder blades and slowly release draw the soles of your feet together open your knees out wide maybe help them go down moving from side to side and then drawing them together rock and roll all the way up in a seat lengthen your legs maybe slightly lift up and ground the sitting bones into the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Suck the kneecaps in. Feet are engaged, toes towards the face. Lean forward for a forward fold. It doesn't matter whether your forehead or chin touches the legs. As long as you're leaning forward and you feel like you're ironing your spine, suck the kneecaps in if you want to keep it active and maybe feel it in your hamstrings. And fold. If anything should touch, it should be chin to going to the front of the knees. So that way the, iron is, the spine is well ironed out. And slowly coming back all the way up. Bend into the right knee. Step it to the outside of the left thigh. Use the left hand to hug that leg. Right hand goes back. Inhale, lengthening, growing tall. Exhale, we twist right. Breathe in and grow tall. Breathe out and twist. Inhale. And exhale. And when you're twisting, I want you to keep that right hand close to the spine as opposed to leaning back. I want you to try to maintain a lengthened spine. Back to center, arms to the left. Bow for a counter stretch. Coming back all the way up. 
lengthening the right leg step the left foot to the outside of the right thigh right hand hugs leg left hand goes back inhale lengthening exhale and twist breathe in and grow tall breathe out and twist inhale exhale option to stay here or maybe keep twisting to your body's extent and then slowly coming back once again bow to the opposite side beautiful coming back all the way up transitioning into a sukhasana laying the right palm on top of the left rolling your shoulders up and away closing your eyes having a moment of silence returning to your breath your normal abdominal breathing full inhales and heavy exhales staying here for as long as is comfortable thank you so much for sharing your practice with me namaste